Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of work, heat, and internal energy in terms of thermodynamics. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like down below if you go on to enjoy the video. And make sure you're subscribed as well so you don't miss any new videos. So let me start off by explaining a few terms. When we talk about thermodynamics, we usually define a system. A system is basically an abstract representation of what we're studying, and it can be anything ranging from a cup to a room. All that matters is that that system is separated from the surroundings. Now, the surroundings are basically everything outside of the system. The system and the surroundings make up the universe. Now, although the system and the surroundings are separated, they are capable of exchanging energy with one another. So energy can flow inside the system and it can also flow out. We call the energy of the system internal energy because it's inside the system. It decreases when energy leaves the system as shown by this arrow and it can increase when energy enters the system. Now let's explore how those two mechanisms happen. One way that energy can enter or leave a system is by heat. Heat is the transfer of thermal energy, and it happens between objects that are at different temperatures. Let me illustrate this point with an example. Suppose you have two objects, and one of these objects is at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The other object is at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. When they come in physical contact with one another, this object right here transfers its thermal energy to this one over here on the right. This happens because the object on the left has more thermal energy than the object on the right. The process of transferring thermal energy continues until they reach the same temperature, which is 50 degrees Celsius. When they both reach 50 degrees Celsius, it is said that they have reached thermal equilibrium. So let's apply that concept to our lesson. The system and the surroundings do the same exact thing, except we use the international standard unit for energy, which is joules. Now, there's another way that energy enters or leaves a system, and that's through work. Once again, let me show you with an example. Suppose you have this container and it has this lid on top that's connected to a piston. And suppose that sealed container has a gas inside of it. Now remember, gases are also matter, just like liquids and solids, which means they also have molecules. Now, what happens if I try to press down on this piston like this? Do you think this thing goes all the way to the bottom to touch the floor? Well, actually, no, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, it actually pushes back with some force of its own, like this. That push is actually the force exerted by the gas on the piston, and it occurs because the gas exerts a pressure inside the container. Each of the gas molecules bump into the walls of the container and transfer energy onto the walls of the container. And this basically creates a push. So that push is pointing upwards in this case, but it's exerted on all four walls of that container. That push that's exerted by the gas up here at the top requires me to push down on the piston with an equal or greater force. So in order to push that piston down, I have to exert a force over a certain distance. And that requires work. Work transfers energy from my body into the gas so that the gas gains energy. Now, if that sounds confusing, don't worry, because I'll be making a video about this topic very soon. However, for the purpose of this video, let's see how it applies to the lesson. If we consider the gas sealed in the container to be the system, then we can quite easily see how work can change internal energy just like heat as we saw in this example right here. 
So at this point, you should have a rough understanding of heat, work, and internal energy. This video is getting a little bit long, so I'll pick it up in the next one. In that video, I'll talk about how heat and work can both interact together with the internal energy. And then after that point, I might do some examples as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.